Well, good evening, everyone. It is now day 29 of the California lockdown, such as it is. But a whole lot of fun we're having in the California sun. Oh. And now starting to try to really enforce this stupid rule of masks everywhere you go. I just wonder how many people have given a thought to how much liberties they've given up during this thing without even thinking about it. You don't hear anybody complaining about it other than idiots like me about the fact that they can't go anywhere, can't go to Walmart to buy clothes or anything because those aren't essential items. You're forced, if you need to do fix things around your house, to go to Home Depot instead of going like to Walmart and picking up washers for your faucet. You have to go to Home Depot and fight that crowd. You know, I know the Democrats really love this kind of shit because they got everybody in their little box. Here's a warning for all politicians, not just Democrats. The American people will take this crap for only so long. The common people, like myself, don't really see a need for all this crap. It's kind of insane if you stop and think about it logically. You have uh, essential workers going to work. Truck drivers, plant workers, factory workers, port workers, grocery store clerks, all that. All traveling multiple miles, multiple counties, multiple states to do their work. Logic would say that would be spreading the disease, not containing the disease. How many people ever out there thought that they would lose the right to go to a park? Or they could be arrested going to a park? How many people thought they'd be standing in bread lines in the United States? I never did. That's not what I fought for. So here's a message to all the politicians. From this dumbass redneck. Who probably means nothing to any of you. You'll probably never even see this. But if you do, word to the wise. Let the people go back to work before you have a revolt on your hands that you can't handle. There's been too many cases where cops are being bully boys. Take the case in Philadelphia where they yanked, a, they dragged a man off a bus because he wasn't wearing a mask. Alright. You got the crooks thinking, okay, I can get away with something if I cough on somebody. Okay. Well, as a person that coughs every day because I'm a smoker, would not please me very much to get arrested as a terrorist because I coughed accidentally. But that's what I hear you're charging people with. And as for the idiots in the fucking democratic media, you need to shove it up your damn butt. You're pushing the fear button too damn hard, too damn fast. You got people scared to talk to each other. Now, you don't have the test kits, you say. That's what you keep saying all over the news. Don't have enough test kits. Don't have enough test kits. They need this safety gear. Need that safety gear. What safety gear you got for the essential workers like us? None. Which shows how much you give a shit. Now, I haven't, I have to be the first to bet, I haven't watched any of these newscast shows. I've watched them online. And I've yet to see any of those newscasters wearing a mask.
I know their seats aren't five feet away from each other, six feet away from each other. They're all in the same damn building. Hmm. Go figure. How's that for social distancing? And you got these idiots out there, including the members of our government, telling everybody how to make masks out of t-shirts. Doesn't do much good if it doesn't have any filtering elements. And you think a coffee filter inside a t-shirt mask is going to solve anything? If that's the case, why are all these companies buying masks from 3M? A pack of cheap t-shirts is a lot cheaper. A pack of coffee filters is a lot cheaper. But what do I know? I'm just a dumbass redneck. Fucking highfalutin politicians and your rich pharmaceuticals and all that are out just clocking the ways they can get rich doing all this shit. Poor grunts like me just have to sit and take it. Remember the old saying, every dog has its day. And there's a lot of dogs in this old pound. And I don't give a shit if you're Republican or Democrat, if you like what I say or you don't. The truth is the truth. It's time to let this shit go before you drive this country into a depression. You got AOC wants to give stimulus packages to all the immigrant illegal immigrants. What the hell for? They're here illegally anyway. Send them home. I believe, AOC, you were elected to serve the people. The American people. Or did you, like Feinstein, Pelosi, Pencil Neck Schumer, and a few others I could name, forgotten that? Are you lear learning how to lie in your own pockets that quickly? Pretty high status for a bartender from Brooklyn. Or the Bronx, or wherever, nowhere in New York you came from. Sometimes, you people just amaze me that you're even still breathing. Really does. You guys are sitting on top of the top of the whole heap and doing everything you can to make sure we don't even look up that way. You're blocking people from going to their church services. When in a pandemic or a crisis, a lot of people turn to God. You keep them, people from their, their work. People have busted their ass to make a business for themselves, and you're causing it to go under. What do you care? You fuckers all knew this was coming. Sold all your stocks beforehand so you could roll it into money. But still, you're trying to make sure you're taking care of your good old corporate sponsors. Make sure they get their money. Sorry, folks. I was planning on this being an upbeat video, but I'm getting real fed up with the stupidity of both the people and our elected officials. Maybe the American people have just become so dumb that they are dumb or numb that they don't realize they're being taken advantage of losing their liberties one at a time. In this next phase of the stimulus package, they're planning on putting some heavy gun controls in there, or trying to. I hope like hell our president does not sign it.
because that would be a bad thing. For all these governors out there that all seem to think, hey, we got them where we want them now, they all have to watch the talking box. We'll feed them the information we want them to have. Don't count on it. Some of us still have a working brain. But, what the hell? What the hell do I know? I better get off this thing before I say something my wife says will get me arrested. But, I'd like y'all to remember the vets serving overseas, military people. Remember the vets coming home, the ones that are here, take care of them. Give them a hand up, not a hand out. My hat's off to all the first responders, grocery clerks, farmers, truck drivers, you know who you are, the essential workers, the ones that keep this country going, no matter what Pelosi and all them try to do. My hat's off to all of you. This is the old redneck. You got a comment? Leave it below. If you want to bitch me out, send me an email. Redneckrebel1956 at gmail.com. You got a topic you want me to give you my thoughts on? Send it to the same place. I'll peruse it and see what I can do. For now, day 29 of the lockdown. Y'all take care. Remember humanity. Take care of your neighbors, especially elderly. Check in on your relatives. We're out. Bye.